Okay, here's a problem I'm going to try and solve with 3D printing. We have these sliding doors in our house in several locations. <clears throat> we bought this house used about three years ago. It was 20 years old when we bought it. I don't know if these are the original doors or not, but I really like the sliding doors. And as you can see, hopefully, there's some brackets there, one on either side. The problem is, first, there's quite a bit of slack. There's a bracket on both sides. There's quite a bit of slack there. I'd like to eliminate that. And the other problem is, you push the door in all the way, it goes past the brackets. And then what happens, if you don't pull it perfectly straight, you get caught on either side of the bracket. And then there's the issue, on this door, there were no brackets. So we're going to see if we can fix that. And now we're going to open Fusion 360 and sketch the rectangles to the size needed. Also the rectangle for the upright piece at 90 degrees. I then extrude these parts to the desired depth. And then I extruded the upright. I then sketched out on the face of the upright a slot using the slot command, sketch command. And then I use that in the extrude to cut it out. I then place fillets on the edges where I felt it was necessary for just appearance reasons and for strength. Then I ended up with this completed drawing. I then slice it and put it on my Fusion 3 F410 machine. I made two at once. I'm using ASA plastic only because it's the only one I had white in. PLA would have been fine for this, I believe. And here they are. You can see I also put supports in the middle. These are the old brackets. And here are the new. They really work nice. So this is an example of practical 3D printing, and I hope it maybe spurred you to take on some practical 3D printing yourself. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time.